Kia ora te no mai hoki mai. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to set up your trust wallet uh, and you know make sure that you uh, can actually see your NFT and also import any of the tokens that you might hold in Debtbox. The first thing you need is your seed phrase obviously. Now please make sure that uh, anything to do with sensitive information with mnemonic seed phrases or passphrases or passwords, you have to make sure that your computer's not infected. Don't be using any free antivirus programs. Make sure that you invest in your security because the scripts that are getting created, the malware that's getting created these days is really advanced. And it's quite uh, on the cards that if you get compromised and your seed phrase is compromised, they won't take your funds out straight away. They'll actually wait until you've got a significant amount in your wallet and then they'll withdraw it. So you have to make sure that you invest and invest well in a decent security, antivirus and firewall. I use ESET. I've been using it for years and I've never had a breach. Okay, But don't be doing anything with seed phrases online uh, unless you are certain that your computer is not infected with malware. Otherwise, you're just opening yourself up to do it to a disaster. Okay, so now the lecture's over. <laughs> uh, so if you're not sure how to get your seed phrase, now you've got to make sure, obviously, that you've got your 2FA and you've got your password. Open up your Debtbox account. Uh, come to the menu. Actually, don't come to the menu. Come to your profile over on the other side here, on the right-hand side. Click on that. Click on Profile. Uh, then click on Wallet. And then you've got Reveal Mnemonic Phrase right here. Okay, so all you've got to do is click on that. And then just check these. Continue, and then add your password and your 2FA and your uh, mnemonic passphrase will be uh, will be displayed here. Now, if you've already got it written down, you don't need to do this step. I just wanted to show anyone that hasn't got their mnemonic phrase uh, where to get it. And this is something that you need to back up and keep safe. This is your keys to your kingdom. Don't lose this. Uh, just understand how important a seed phrase is. Without it, you can't restore your funds. Okay, so it's something that you need to back up. And keep safe all right so now that you've got that if you come to this so this is for trust wallet obviously uh, so if you come to trustwallet.com okay click on download now I'm using desktop most people use phones these days but I it's easier for me to actually show you on a desktop okay so down here you've got iOS which is obviously iPhone you've got Android uh, and you've got Chrome. You can actually download the APK, which is pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to click on Chrome because that's what I'm using. Download for Chrome. Okay. All that. It looks like I have to scroll across here. There we go. Okay. Add to Chrome. So this is a browser extension, obviously. Okay. Add extension. Okay. That's done. Okay. So we want to. Uh, you obviously, if you've got a trust wallet, you can't import. <laughs> Another, well, you actually can, I think. You can actually import a new seed phrase. I'll show you that because I did see that there was an option for that. So I'll show you. But for right now, I'm importing my mnemonic seed phrase. Uh, so this is a fresh new wallet. Okay. Brand new. So I'm going to click on uh, import recover wallet because I want to obviously import my seed phrase. Okay. So I'll select this option. And I'm just going to create a password. Make sure it's a decent one. here okay I have read agree to terms next now it's going to ask for your seed phrase uh, which I'm going to get here and I'll just copy it here I've got this in a password manager actually embedded in an image so I've just got to decrypt it copy that okay come over here and just paste in, just copy your 12 words and you can paste it directly in there and it'll paste all of them in there, okay? And then just click on next. Okay, I don't want to share data, so I'll go no thanks. All right, and if you want to, uh, if you've got MetaMask running in your browser as well and you want to use Trust Wallet for Debtbox, uh, you'll have to set this as the default wallet because when you try and connect it uh, to the... Uh, tofu NFT to view your NFT, it will actually open MetaMask by default. So you actually need to override it and make sure you got this set as default. Okay, so now I'm going to click on Open Wallet. Okay, I've got it. I'm ready to use Trust Wallet. Okay, so we're ready to go. So now this is your uh, Debtbox account. 
in Trust Wallet, okay? So I did notice that up here you've got Mnemonic One. So it looks like that you can add a new wallet in here. So if you wanted to, if you've got an existing Trust Wallet already set up and you wanna add a new wallet, you could go to, I'm, I'm assuming, I haven't done this before, but I'll check, add new wallet, yeah. So you can import your seed phrase here. So you can actually add uh, another option there, okay? So now that we've got our wallet, uh, if you want to add any tokens to this wallet, before I connect and have a look at the NFT, just let me show you how to uh, add some tokens. Right here is all the addresses. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, pin this so that I've got it right here. Okay, so that's pinned, just so I can show you here. Let's move it across, move it across here. Okay, so let's say for example, you have some uh, NetG. Well, well, I've got, I've, I know that there's a little bit of XBLR in this account. So I'm gonna click on the contract. You need to basically import the contract for each token in order to display it uh, in your wallet. Okay, they don't, all your Debtbox tokens won't display by default in Trust Wallet. You need to import each token contract address to have it to display. Okay, and then there's another little click that you have to do to make sure that you actually see the tokens. Okay, so I'm gonna use XBLR uh, as an example, but you can use, if you've got tokens for all of these, you'll have to import them all individually. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the contract address. I'll leave this in the description of the video. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that. So I've copied the XBLR. I'll just minimize this now. I'm gonna come scroll right to the bottom down here and it says manage crypto. Okay, so we need to click on this. And then we're gonna click on didn't see your crypto import. We're gonna click on that as well, okay? All right, so then what we need to do is we need to choose the appropriate blockchain. Okay, and we're using the Binance Smart Chain. So we need to come down here until we see Smart Chain and click on Smart Chain. And now we need to paste in that contract address for that token. Okay, so we'll paste that in. And you can see it's already automatically showing XBLR, which is good. And we're gonna click on add token. Okay, so now it's been added. So now if we come right to the bottom uh, for XBLR anyway, it will show it. And you can see it's got XBLR, but it's actually showing no tokens or anything here. So all you need to do, well, it's, it's automatically updated now. Okay, so normally you have to click on it. Uh, but you can see now it's showing uh, 33,000 XBLR. Okay, so each token address that you import, it will actually show up here. It won't show the dollar amount. It doesn't show the dollar amount in here uh, for debt box, but it will show the amount of tokens that you actually own. Okay, so that's how you import. So now let's look at connecting to uh, the marketplace and we can view our, any NFTs that have been minted and are attached to this wallet. Uh, you will see them in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do so we're going to come to tofunft.com. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description for this. And then all we need to do is come over here and see you've got your little man, your little avatar icon here. Click on this. All right, and then we need to choose the wallet. So we're using Trust Wallet. So we'll click on Trust Wallet here. All right, now see how it's doing MetaMask by default. So this is actually a pain in the butt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to that little jigsaw. Okay, and I'm going to come down to Trust Wallet, and I'm going to pin it up there. And then I'm going to come to Trust Wallet, and I'm going to just confirm that it's set to default. So I'm going to come down to Settings, okay, and then I'm going to come down here and see it's got set as default wallet, so it should be okay now. Let's just refresh the browser to make sure that it's set in stone. Now that we've pinned it up on here, uh, I'm not sure why that keeps bringing up this, but let's do this. Okay, so we're going to click on the man again, uh, and then come down to Trust Wallet. It's still bringing up MetaMask, so it's actually being a pain in the butt. So all I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna come to my extensions, manage extensions, and I'm just going to disable MetaMask for now. Come all the way down here, where are we, MNOP. I'll just disable it for now, just so I can use uh, Trust Wallet. Okay, so if you didn't see how I did that, I just came to the extensions tab, came down to manage extensions and then disabled it in the list, okay? So now we're gonna just refresh. All right, you might not run into this problem. Now it's now it's opening Trust Wallet now, okay? By default. So I'm gonna click on connect, but if you don't see this, just come to your little man up here and then come down to the list and click on Trust Wallet, okay? So it's 
opening it up here. Now I'm going to click on connect. All right. So you can see now you'll know that it's connected because it's got this little the icons change from a man into something colorful like this. Okay, now all we need to do is just click on that and then just go to my NFTs. Okay, click on my NFTs. I've got one rev on this, I think. Yeah. So you can see here, rev exotic vehicle. So it's actually showing the NFT uh, in our on our wallet. Okay, so that's basically it. So just to emphasize, make sure that you back up your seed phrase. It's the keys to your kingdom. Uh, and make sure you've got a really secure computer because anything that you do online is at risk. The optimum way is to generate a seed phrase offline. Check out my channel. Uh, I've got, I actually created a tool for this called The Vault. Uh, and it was, yeah, it's, it's a good tool. So check it out. But anyway, I hope that helped. Have yourself an amazing day. Kia kaha.